facilities behind me um, were set up specifically for the mountain pig and possums. They're an alpine species, so they need um, temperatures that drop down to about two degrees in winter, and we need to be able to keep it fairly cool in summer because up on uh, Mount Buller and Mount Hotham and Kosciuszko as well, it doesn't get to um, really hot temperatures. Now they are Australia's only hibernating marsupials, so we're simulating the conditions inside these rooms um, so that they can hibernate in winter. Today we took up two of our little 12 week old litters of mountain pygmy possums, um, took them up to the hospital, up to the AWHC and it was their, essentially their first vet check. So we got the vets to have a look at their teeth, um, their eyes, their ears, they all had a microchip inserted into them so that we can identify them in future because they all pretty much look the same. And we also took a little hair sample so that we can um, send that off for genetic analysis. Unfortunately there's been a lot of change happening to their natural habitat so we've got ski villages up sort of where the possums used to live. Um, we've put roads through the boulder fields where these little guys actually like to um, live and feed so it has uh, caused fragmentation, change and, and damage to the, the natural sort of structure and vegetation up there. The climate change is potentially also a big issue for these fellas. Um, they do need good snow cover in winter in order to, to hibernate properly. If the climate is changing and we're having warmer winters and we're not getting the good snow cover, the mountain pigeon possums won't hibernate so well, um, which means that they may be waking up, arousing during a period where they would normally be hibernating. Um, and every time they wake up from hibernation they do lose body weight so there's generally not a lot of food around in winter um, and so hibernation is a way that they can skip through that period where there's not so many resources. Mountain pygmy possums rely on a huge migration of bogon moths that um, make their way up to the alpine areas every um, spring when the, the snow melts. One of the simplest things you can do if you're staying up on the mountain during that period is to make sure that at night time you turn all lights off, you don't leave any sort of unnecessary lights going because that will actually attract the moths away from the boulder fields. We want the moths to mo actually do their normal migration which is out onto the boulder fields and down into the rocks which is where the pygmy possums live. Then they can have their normal food source. Ah, ah, ah.